What's up everyone, Cordell here with the final team shopping cart project application for my web design and development portfolio six course here at Full Sail University. My instructor is Thea and I'm just going to get right into it, got a lot to cover. So what we've been doing this month is created a portfolio page with my blog and here is where I've been sharing my lear learning discoveries throughout the entire month and everything is up to date and if you go to my story too I forgot to show you just a little bit about me um, my experience and uh, some links to my work and if you go into teamwork I go into the basic agile process and kind of explain uh, each phase a little bit the envision speculate explore adapt and close phase and then the videos, I still probably need to update a couple more, but so far this is what I have. And then of course the contact page. So everything is up to date. Now I'm going to talk about the open source project that we've been working on, the team has been working on. So this is Shop A Lot. Basic tutorial videos actually were very well like I said very basic so there wasn't uh, much about the whole crud features and login features so we had to come up with all that for our, for our project so in this case when you check out we also implemented a car overview and this is a payment processing so you can purchase items and I'll leave a link in the description below where we actually test all the functionality out for this project. And then of course we have items and these are all being uh, in, in the MLAB database. So if you go into items you'll see that I have a Samsung um, wireless charger right here. And then you can add an item. So if you want you can do an iPhone price description just put something random and then there you go it adds another product and then you can go to more info and you can write a review and then you can browse and once you go to uh, github this will show you our repository And then you can also log in. So this is the feature I worked on the most. Um, t unfortunately, I couldn't get the Google sign-in to work properly, but I w at least got the login functionality to work. So if we go ABC, password, and boom, you have your profile, Chuck Norris. If you go into MLab and you go to the users, you'll notice that there is a Chuck Norris profile. And then what you can do is, once the profile is updated, you can actually log out. And then you, it goes back to the register button, so you can register, create an account. So for this project, we decided on the MERN full stack, uh, following along with the Traversy Media Tutorials, like I said before. We actually ended up developing a lot more than what was shown in the videos. Uh, but in order to use the Google OAuth, we basically would have to redo the entire server setup since OAuth Google callback is not being proxied to the Google servers. So unfortunately, I ran out of time at the end to implement that into my project. And I didn't want to uh, change anything or hurt anybody's commits that the team has already made. So, But as proof that I have indeed made the Google sign-in work, I'm running this on another server. You can just go CSR and then boom, it has your profile information. So we got a lot done on our unique features and although mine was not a su success or implemented on time, I would say that if I would have changed anything, I probably would have made sure to look up the documentation for Google sign-in using React. I did it very easily one time using React Native, but 
that was with Expo, and it's a lot more complicated when you're trying to connect with the back end as well because of having to use the production methods. So I haven't made a lot of updates on, uh, excuse me, I have made a lot of updates on my Trello board. So everything should be up to date or on the last standup. And I haven't made too many updates on my solo Git repo yet. Um, I just wanted to make sure that our final project deadlines uh, were met. So I will be updating that as soon as this project comes to a close. And I would say working with uh, teams this month has been a very great learning experience. It's even more important now than ever to be working with teammates um, that are all trying to reach a common goal. And with a well-rounded team, projects can be developed faster and more efficiently. So overall, this month has been a fantastic learning experience, and I'm glad to be a part of the Three Coded Tears. If you would like to make a connection on LinkedIn, let me know. My name is Cordell Radke, and I want to thank you all and my instructor for a fantastic month. Thank you.